In this video, I'm going to show you how I went from this to this in order to have a summer house with electricity in the UK. So the first bit of this video where I got the shed boards off Facebook Marketplace off just a local seller and built the foundation is uh, pictures because I never made any videos. And then I thought, oh, why not make some videos and sort of like make a big video of this. So the video kind of explains some of my thoughts in the process of, you know, building it up, insulating it, adding electricity, cladding and everything else. So if you're just curious or maybe you want to learn how to build one yourself or you're just kind of bored, then this video is for you. So let's get going. So we just have a small picture slideshow, then uh, I start filming properly and making videos, so you'll see that in a second. Um, but this part is where I sort of dug the foundation and um, put on the slabs and everything like that. So it just started with a, a wheelbarrow, a shovel, and uh, yeah, a small little hole. <laughs> then we started the... So I, I dug a nice little trench out. Um, I think I went a couple of feet deep because the shed would have a lot of weight in it. I didn't really want the shed sinking, especially with the rain and the bad weather here. The last thing you want to do is lay a foundation, put the slabs down, put the shed on top and it starts sinking. So I figured this is the part I'm going to have to do really properly, measure it all out and make sure it's done right. And then it's not going to, you know, like bite me later. <laughs> so... Um, what I did, I went to this place uh, in a local town and got some um, stones uh, from uh, like aggregate sort of thing. So I dug the trench out and I put this aggregate down and I realized I didn't really order almost near enough. Like there's, there's barely enough for even half of it. So that, that was a bit of a problem here. So you see those big bricks there. They're actually Victorian house bricks. Uh, they use imperial measurement and most people don't want them now. And when you recycle them, you have to actually pay, to, I think, three pounds per bag to recycle. So so many people are giving them away on Facebook Marketplace. And I thought, hey, like I'll just take a hammer to the big pieces and I can use it as an aggregate. And, you know, maybe my bags will go a bit further there. So I started spreading the aggregate out, realized I didn't really have, have enough. So I got more bricks, I drove to more houses uh, and broke more <laughs> more bricks up. And I finally got a, a rough, nice foundation. So uh, the slabs I picked up from Facebook Marketplace, absolutely free. Uh, so that was pretty cool. It, um, it took about three car trips because every time I put about eight in the car, the suspension would be resting on the wheels. So you yeah, had to do a few trips to get those here, but we got them here. And then I realized uh, the local hardware stores like B&Q and Wix, when there's a split bag, they'll put a big, um, a clear bag around it and mark it as one pound. So normally if you're spending seven pounds per bag on aggregate or sand or cement, just look around the area for split bags. They pretty much get split every day. So I was paying like one pound uh, all the time. I was driving almost daily to get these one pound bags and they came in really useful for when... Uh, you know, doing the foundation uh, with the sand and the stones and everything. So that was really cool. So now I've put the aggregate down. I'm sort of putting the sand on top now because we don't want to put slabs directly on, on stones. It's not going to work. So I put the sand on the stones and it makes a nice little level sort of ground to um, lay the slabs. I think I cut it with cement as well. So um, it's not just sand. There's some cement in there. And that way um, it kind of sticks to it as well. So they're not going to slide or anything like that. So this summer was really hot, uh, absolutely baking. Uh, I think in Fahrenheit, uh, over 100 Fahrenheit, you know, um, mid 30 degrees Celsius. Uh, so, yeah, I use the umbrella hat. <laughs> uh, yeah, brutal summer. So I started laying the slabs down now. Um, the hardest part was getting all this level because my spirit level was kind of small and I didn't really have a long one. So trying to get everything lined up was absolutely insane, but we got there in the end. Um, so then I went to get a shed on Facebook Marketplace. Um, a woman said she had one. I got there and started looking at it and I fell through the floor. It was totally rotten. But by this point, I already spent £120 on this van rental, um, so it was really annoying. So I only had one day to um, one day to find a shed quickly, but luckily someone had one for 300 
I offered them 200 and they said, look, if you can get it today, 250 So I went over there. It was a nice big shed. Uh, it needed a bit of restoration. They started with some really bad insulation, but um, I kind of kept that and used that as a waterproof sheeting. I, I actually used my own insulation, as you'll see later in the video. Uh, but the guy was super nice. He spent about two hours with me dissembling it, helping me carry the pieces because they were super heavy. Absolutely insane. Uh, so I managed to just squeeze it in this truck. It had to go in diagonally because the shed was so big. Um, I don't even remember the size anymore, but uh, I think it was over 10 feet in one direction. Um, so yeah, managed to get it in, get it back home, and carrying it around the back was absolutely crazy. You can see the roof there is totally gone, so I had to refelt the roof and everything like that as well. But yeah, finally managed to get um, the shed here, buy a shed, negotiate a shed, and bring it home within one day while we had the, the van there. So I finished up the foundation there, got that nice and flat. It's actually way harder than you think it is. Uh, lifting the slabs, checking for level and putting them down is, is back-breaking work. Um, once I got the floor of the shed over, I started treating it. I actually added more wooden beams to it because I knew there'd be a lot of weight in the shed and that would minimize vibration. And I treated it with uh, treatment and paint as well, put lots of coats on because I know this is the going to be the weakest part and the hardest accessible piece. So... I figured put the work in now, then you know it'll pay dividends later. So I got the floor all painted and done, added extra wooden beams for support, and then started assembling the shed. Uh, super hard, it was a windy day, it was blowing a bit, but managed to get it down there. And started refelting the roof there as well. Um, but yeah, just pretty much putting up the shed. Um, I had to get my friend over to help me put the roof on because it was just insanely high and heavy. Uh, but we got there in the end. There's that insulation I used as a waterproof thing. And yeah, the shed is done. So this is pretty much the end of the first summer. And I refelted the roof as well. So we're all kind of waterproof. And from this point, it was kind of sitting for six months until I had time to do the insulation and uh, everything else here. So this is the shed now. You can see it's all assembled. Uh, there's not much going on inside, just a couple of old rugs that the guy uh, gave free with the shed. So after six months, you can see now, look, the shed has a lot of mold in there. So that's a bit of a problem. So the thing is with the UK, it gets really cold in the winter and wet and damp. And mold is just nuts. It, you even get it in houses too. It's just one of those things. So I knew the shed needed uh, insulating. That's when... We started sanding down the mold and putting some mold and treatment on there uh, because if we don't, it's just going to rot away and it's going to be a, a waste of time, you know. So, so then um, we started installing electrics into the shed, ran a long, huge, thick line all the way from the house underground and got some power points in there because we'd need it to do the soaring and all the power tools and everything like that. So we got the electric in there pretty early. And then I bought some water treatment, a uh, wood preserver. Um, uh, pretty good stuff. You just put it on one coat, uh, let the wood soak it in for a day, and then it will preserve your wood. It's supposed to be used on fence panels, but I don't see you know, why a shed wouldn't benefit from that. And once that was all dry, then we sort of painted the shed on top of that with a couple of coats. So... Yeah, the electric's all done. It has one of those inside and outside boxes, so you don't have to open the shed to use the power. And yeah, it worked, worked pretty, pretty fine the first time. Um, the wire wasn't long enough, so I had to get it extended with like a, a resin mold. And that extended the wire pretty good. It's pretty heavy duty. You can see the gauge on that is super thick. Uh, so I just buried that underground and yeah, um, electrics. So this is where the videos start kicking in in a moment. Um, we're just painting the inside of the shed here. I accidentally bought the wrong paint. It was supposed to be brown, but you can see it looks red. Oops. Um, details, right? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, painting the inside of the shed. And uh, the videos start now. So uh, enjoy the montage. <laughs> Look out the window. Is that hail? What? No, it's just a lot of rain. Yeah, damn. 
Well, we're getting there. It's a uh, slow progress. It'll look better when it's done, I promise. <laughs> okay. It's, uh, it's raining a lot, look. So we're, uh, we're doing a little painting session inside. We're moving the DDR pad into the shed, but it's a, it's a big boy. So it's, it's a very big boy. Pues miren nada más quién tenemos aquí. Di hola. Hola. ¿Qué estás cargando? ¿Qué tienes en las manos? A mil kilos. No, hundred. Uh, <laughs> Tiene mil kilos, sí. <laughs> it feels like a mil kilos. Pues. El punto que tenemos aquí es trasladar el pinche panel a este lado. Ya tenemos uno ahí. Ya nada más falta el otro. <laughs> you know how you move a DDR pad? ¿Cómo? Like a man. Enséñanos. Like a cab cab eh. Caballero. Caballero. No horse. <laughs> no horse. <laughs> like a man. <laughs> Come on! So we can run with it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we carry it now. Show me your hands. That's okay. <laughs> no te preocupes, más tarde te las amaso. Bueno, pues. Ya nos queda poquito. Ahora. Oh, it's on these planks anyway. Look at those. Well, just gotta do the tops. Yes. Yeah, fight in with the door. And I'm fighting. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't look too bad, does it? Now uh, we're just doing these bits of wood because they, they're gonna get stuffed up there. Okay, we have reinforcements. It reinforces the roof felt, blocks the spiders, and lets our panels sit more flush. All will be revealed. And we've added a light, look, look at that light. All right, we put a solid day in today. We got uh, the door done, the front, couple coats and we even got the little uh, beams up there as well and some lights it's not looking bad is it check it out so I have some of this breathable membrane they call it it basically acts as a, like a water barrier between the outside of the shed and the inside of the shed uh, providing you face the lettering outwards and that way all the moisture and everything can breathe through here and it doesn't reach the insulation. So the, the idea was we're going to have the wood 
uh, the breathable membrane, a little air gap, and then the insulation, and then whatever cladding. Uh, so, yeah, I got this off Facebook Marketplace for £20, retails for 60 and uh, yeah, uh, the, the, uh, the idea is naturally, um, if you would have built the shed yourself, you just kind of wrap the shed like this, but because the shed was already assembled and we're trying to improve it, uh, it's a bit of a bore lake, so I'm, I'm trying to sort of do the best I can on the inside, <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, then we're going to put the insulation, uh, leave a little air gap and then put the insulation on, but um, yeah, here's a couple panels. I'm just using a staple gun just to keep it in place. I don't think it really matters because it's so thin and light. Uh, you could use a nail gun. I think it's overkill. But I'm just trying to, you know, like measure it a little bit further than uh, push it in with some plastic scrapers and it, I don't think it'll be too bad. Obviously it's better than no insulation at all. So, um, let's go. Three down. Kind of looks like Christmas, doesn't it? <laughs> Yeah, just filling the uh, bigger gaps with the foam and uh, yeah, just finishing it off before we do the roof insulation. Pretty hard now. <laughs> I usually use a wallpaper um, scraper. Just go down each side and on the back. Then it kind of just comes away, you know, pretty easy. Then I'll probably just smooth that out with some... Uh, Sealant, yeah, pretty good. Filled that huge gap anyway. Looks pretty tasty. Right, the door's got the membrane on. Finally, those triangles are a bugger. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Right, made a lot of progress, still only half done, but uh, I've done all the annoying pieces, I don't know why, first, <laughs> and then uh, I know that later when I can't be bothered it's just easy rectangles, so uh, yeah, this is the progress right now for today. Rome wasn't built in a day, neither was this shed, but uh, check it out, <laughs> it's the canopy. <laughs> been a, a long day of uh, shed building today, so uh, we're having a, a rare break, a bit of uh, Madri from Madrid in the UK. Yes. Cheers. I'm not driving by the way. So right now we're whacking on the first bit of insulation. Here's the first piece. I'm just cutting it with a regular wood saw. Seems to work pretty well. You can see it's just pretty much foam on the inside. Styrofoam that is with a foil backing on both sides um, yeah the company didn't have what I wanted and there's a whole ordeal but yeah we're just gonna press the first one in see what it looks like slowly get in there so this is the plan here I purposely ordered the insulation the PIR board so you can see it creates this air gap right here but I don't want the air gap here I kind of want it just behind it. So this is going to sit flush here, like that. And you see this air gap here? That's going to ensure that this doesn't get wet from the uh, membrane here. So um, what I'm going to do, uh, if I need to, if it's not a snug fit, I can just put a little wood screw here, here, all the way around. And that will ensure that this doesn't accidentally get pushed back on there. So that's sort of the plan so far. So uh, that's the reason for why this is smaller than the sockets in here and then I pretty much just need to repeat that all the way around but uh, yeah that, that's the plan okay so my measurements are probably sp pretty spot on but you can see the screws here that just makes sure that nothing accidentally closes this air gap we're not going to get any weird trapped moisture any mold things like that so for the sake of putting in a few screws as a, as a barrier you know it's a uh, it's not a bad thing to do and it's really quick. So uh, it looks pretty good. Let's get the big piece in. Let's get some uh, lighting in here, why not? So uh, yeah, this is a pain in the ass to cut if you're like a couple of millimeters off. Luckily I got some AC tape so I can always 
patch anything up. But you can see how solid the fit is. Look, it's really pushed right up on there. So I'm not too worried about the air gap on this one, but it will make a difference when we do triangles and maybe measurements aren't too exact. But number one, uh, for making sure a cut's straight, I'm actually using painter's tape. It's pretty good and it makes a nice long line. And then uh, I removed the human error for wiggling my lines, but uh, yeah, it always seems to work pretty well. Let's see if this triangle fits, see how well it works. Not bad, is it? <laughs> so sometimes when it looks like it's not wedging in, I just put a bit of wood on here, like this, and then just tap this with a hammer and it should kind of run in nice and flush. So I'm using this HVAC tape here for air ducts in AC systems. Uh, so if I fuck up, I accidentally do a bad cut. I don't think that's too bad. It just looks bad in the angle, but the wood kind of, you know, goes round and down. So it's actually really solid. But if I if I do kind of mess up, um, or if I have some really big off cuts that don't fit in these, and I kind of want to put three of them in just to save a bit of money, then I'll do the joins with this tape. Um, and that way it's all insulated So it'll end up looking something kind of like that and that just makes sure uh, Everything is pretty much insulated. You're already paying all the money for this. So uh, you know, why not? Uh, finish the job to a hundred, right? So another long day of working check out the salt that came off <laughs> I'm gonna need a, a big dinner and on the back yeah not too much weirdly oh well a little bit but yeah well another day down so yesterday oh well today's a new day yesterday was a big day pretty much all day was putting up this insulation here triangles roof pretty much everything uh, I ran out, so I still have two more to do. So I think I need to get one more piece. Uh, and the door. Tricky door. But yeah, otherwise done. Um, then the next is the uh, just some interior boards. I got some hard ply. We'll do that soon. But uh, yeah, it's really coming along now. But the good thing about the insulation is you get... Uh, it's not stupidly hot in the summer and um, and in winter. It's not going to be stupidly cold. Hopefully it kind of maintains, uh, yeah. And the old people shouldn't complain about the music too. So it's going to offer some sort of music dampering. But uh, yeah, really sorted. But uh, yeah, getting there. Getting there slowly. All right. Check out these triangles. <laughs> so we're almost done with the insulation. Look, check it out. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? But we ran out. We ran out of the 50 mil stuff, so I'm having to use the 30, which I accidentally ordered too much of. So on a couple of panels, there's a bigger gap. I don't think it will really matter that much. But uh, check this out. <laughs> Had to get a little bit creative. So I had a, an idea for this kind of roof bracket here. I keep cracking my head on it, so I'm gonna remove this piece and this piece and then reinforce the uh, roof with, that. you see this structure? I'm gonna repeat that there, keep that one and add one here. And I think that will make the roof nice and safe. Uh, then there's no need for this piece or this piece right here. That's the plan anyway. So uh, yeah, we're just uh, gonna cut that through there. And you see this is mounted onto the sidewall here, which is not, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's, like a, it's like a one by three inch piece of wood. So it's pretty strong. So I, I think that will hold quite well. And I think that's gonna work a lot better too. So the insulation's all pretty much done now. Uh, even around the tricky power point. <laughs> Well, we've got a rare nice day today, so uh, I figured why not? Why not paint them off the shed, carry them in, then they're all done. 
I'm using a, a sweeping brush on a uh, paint roller. <laughs> Not bad, is it? Wow, I've got eight of these to paint, uh, both sides, and then uh, yeah, it's a, it's a long process. But uh, yeah, it took a lot longer and a lot messier than I thought, but uh, it's finally done. I, I did forget that bit, but we'll do that in a minute. But now I'm putting um, plywood just over it as like a cladding. Uh, I guess more like a visual thing. Um, plus I want to like hang a TV and maybe hang some things up. So I'm just screwing it on now. And then I'll probably just, you know, put something over the surface to hide the screws. Uh, maybe not, I don't know. See if I can be bothered. So I finally chopped this off now. It's a little bit awkward getting the saw in, but uh, <laughs> that's what it looks like. So I'm going to put a couple more here and then support the roof better and now I'm not going to bash my head. It looks a lot bigger now actually. I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. So a little bit of an update. I've got a lot of wood done, Luke. Check this out. <laughs> so the, the problem is when you start putting the wood on you realise how square something isn't. So you have to get a little bit creative. It still needs painting and reinforcing. But um, yeah, couldn't resist a uh, a cheeky little setup. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so uh, almost there. Uh, I was pretty happy with this around the socket. It turned out pretty well actually. So um, yeah, just got a little square here to do. Uh, the triangles above the door, the door itself, and uh, pretty much most of that wall there and uh, the roof on this side but uh, yeah, it's, it's slow progress but we're getting there but this will look kind of like the finished product now so see it's pretty good uh, the soundproofing is really nice as well um, so at night time you can't really hear it too much at all but uh, yeah so it just, just needs painting and finishing off then uh, yeah a little bit of an update anyway So I was thinking I got all this crap here on the floor. I wanted to get like a nice long skinny table. I was looking around online. I was like, oh, why the hell am I going to buy one, you know? <laughs> well, number one, I've never seen a skinny table. And number two, we already have the tools to make one. So uh, let's check it out. So uh, I have all this wood that I stash under the tree here. Some of it's pretty old now. It's been here a few years. There's the tree, look. Um, but yeah, there's some good wood under here, but I found uh, some of these fence posts. They're like four by fours Might make it look like chunky Ikea furniture, you know, see what we can do with this maybe Might be pretty good. Sand it down, paint it. Let's uh, have a look So I just cut some of the wall away for the table I just want something like this a nice skinny piece and then I can shove things on top and things below And I thought oh, this will be pretty funny. It looks just like Ikea furniture these huge like uh, you know, overly powerful legs on a, a tiny thing like that it might be quite funny. So I've just cut four of these up. Uh, you can see all the spiders nests on them. Look at that. <laughs> but yeah, sorry spiders, you're gonna have to find a new home. But uh, yeah, we're gonna sand these up and uh, I think it might work pretty well. Scrubbed up pretty good, didn't they? No. I've uh, rehomed about a uh, about 50 of these buggers. <laughs> they keep they keep getting in the shed. It doesn't matter how much uh, insulation, how much stuff I put in there, they just keep appearing. Unbelievable. All right, bye bye. You can uh, go on this fence post. Look, there's your new home. There you go. Look. Okay. It seems it seems to have grown a bond with me. All right. Goodbye. There you go. Goodbye. Bye bye. I decided to add uh, six legs now because it looks kind of long and skinny. I think it might go like this in the middle. So I uh, got two more, uh, treated them and painted them. I think it will look pretty good. And that is solid. That's a solid fence post. It's a solid fence post. You can't buy desks like that anymore. And the best price free. Well, a bit of paint. So I've got a couple planks of wood. I've got these new ceiling. Uh, 
mounts, joists, whatever you want to call them, all painted and ready to go. So we're going to whack those up, then we can finish the roof. And the desk, the desk is done, check it out. So we're going to get that assembled now. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it, it looks a bit ridiculous. And I think if I was to change one thing, it would be the thickness. I was trying to use the... Um, the same boards I had for the wall. It's a bit too thin, but because I have six posts, it's it's kind of sturdy, it's not too bad. Uh, that's the only thing I'd change. But I think just for a shed and messing about, I think it'll be perfect. Well, there it is. And that's why the table is that high, because I measured the fan and it looked like a good place to put it. Not bad, is it? You can't go into IQ and say, I want a table this long and this high. They'll say no in Swedish, which I think is nye. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad. Could be better, could be way worse. Well, one of the doors is done. That's what it looked like before, Luke. Um, <laughs> I had a bit of a dilemma. Well, a choice, really. I could cut around the locks, which is what I ended up doing. Not perfect, but it'll do. Um, then, then I don't have to move any of these mountain points. Um, if I added 12 mil to the door, I'd have to move these this way, 12 millimeters. But then the hole, I'm gonna have to drill a new hole. And I think the new hole is going to connect with the old one, making it unsafe. And I'd need wood filler and all this stuff. So I thought, fuck it, just cut around them. Um, yeah, pretty happy. And it has a lot more weight to it. And I feel way better about the security of the shed as well. So um, um doesn't look amazing. Uh, work in progress. But uh, yeah, pretty pleased with that. So uh, yeah, door two. So the roof masts are all uh, angular cut here. Um, no one's perfect, but uh, <laughs> that seems to get a good wedge. Uh, what I tend to do, I cut all the angles as best as possible, and then uh, I can always correct it with some uh, metal plates. Um, it always works pretty well with beds, furniture, everything else. You know, as long as you don't see it, it doesn't matter, right? Okay, the last and final wall. Then we're done. Done with the outside. <laughs> Look at that. That's what happens when you don't get any sunshine on one side of the shed. It is what it is. <laughs> Couple hours of sanding, last little patch left. Bloody you. Paint house down your sun. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Focus down your sun, focus. I'm just doing the other door now. I ordered a new lock because I didn't have the keys for the uh, one it came with. That's going to go right in there. <laughs> okay, that's what it looks like. Look at this. Obviously, the paint is uh, to do as well as that. But there's the door. Look at that. It's like a prison, isn't it? A regular prison. So now I've put up those extra braces here. The lights I have. Um, <laughs> the lights are this long. So now I kind of have to pad this area with some wood so we have a nice straight beam. So that's the challenge. And that's what I've started right here. 
the wind is uh, mental today. We're coming into the winter. Uh, yeah, almost done above the door. We're getting the triangles done. Uh, I kind of ran out of wood. <laughs> and this wood is super expensive. I think 30 pounds a sheet or 21 if you buy in bulk. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm just making do with what I have. So instead of one big triangle, we have two. But if I fill it out, I think it'll be okay. But uh, here's the lighting mount. This is what I ended up doing for this. So you can see where the beams come in. I had to put some extra beams to pad the light down. Uh, I don't know if that's too visible. Ah, oh, there it is. So I had to put an extra beam to let the light lower so it would go under these uh, kind of braces here. But uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. So uh, this side of the shed's finished, completely finished, other than decorating and obviously that strip there, but yeah, well, wow. and uh, yeah, just gotta finish off this thing. All right, looks more like a prison every day. Check it out. So um, now I'm working on like a little table here. I thought it'd be cool if it would flap in and out as you want it, because every bit of space is important. Right now I'm kind of using an upside down washing up bucket and a tripod. But I thought having something like this as a table then sticking a laptop on there and then having those kind of, you know, pull out when you want it hinges underneath. Uh, chop the corner off so you don't stab your head into it. It might be a good table. I don't know. Let's see. So yeah, something like that. I don't know. I think it would be cool. I mean, uh, I don't, I don't think you're gonna hit it accidentally. Maybe on that corner. I, I don't know. I think it looks good. You can fit a 19-inch laptop on there. Maybe even a small PC. Uh, let's see what happens. So uh, I got a little bit distracted. I, uh, I put a path down. <laughs> it's only temporary because I got the slabs for free. But now I don't run all the mud in, which was pretty annoying. But uh, yeah, anyway, back to the shed. It's 3.30 in the morning. I got my uh, Avenged Sevenfold on. And uh, yeah, just finishing up this panel here. It's so peaceful and quiet too. Look, it's raining outside. Yeah, it's just that, just that feeling where uh, you can hear the wind. When you're inside something you kind of built with your own hands, and uh, you just feel the nice sense of satisfaction while you're nice and toasty and warm inside. Say hello. So the internet's pretty bad in here. I have these uh, wireless antennas here, but they're only two meters long. So I bought a couple of these uh, three meter extensions. Then I'm gonna feed them up, 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 and out my new hole, which actually hurt quite a lot to drill. Um, yeah, and then they're gonna be on the front right here to get better Wi-Fi from the window up there. So I've got these brackets here. The idea is the magnetic antenna will stick on here. I give them a little countersunk so the screws look, you know, a bit better in there. I'm just gonna mount them right there. So there it is. We have our internet and now we're at full bars. Not bad, is it? Uh, wiring, work in progress. All right. Watch. Watch. Give me Wi-Fi. Give me Wi-Fi. So the uh, desk idea I had, I came up with a bit of an idea. I bought some commercial shelving, and then I can not only take it down, but adjust the height when I want to. So here's one of the brackets, and it, it just pretty much slots into any of these uh, twin slots, they're called. Although a little bit fiddly with one hand. And then I can just like raise and lower the height of the desk and I, I think that's a pretty good solution. So I kinda I kinda went with that. We'll see how it looks when it's done. Well, this is the final product. Doesn't look too bad, does it? So you can adjust the height from here all the way down there. I'm gonna have like a laptop here and a streaming setup. Um but yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. And you can just take it down whenever you want as well. So uh, 
Yeah, not bad, is it? Not bad at all. It is officially the last full wooden board. How do you feel? <laughs> we all know what that look means. Wow. Almost there. We're almost there. Just got the last beam to do here, the light, and uh, the yeah. desk is chilling. Look, look at the desk chilling. Right. Yeah, wow. Yeah. So the last uh, the last brace is done. We have all three braces now. It said dark again. There's a lot of uh, long days on this damn shed. Sorry, house. <laughs> but uh, yeah, everything is pretty much done. I gave it another whack of paint. Um, uh, so that's why it looks like that. But we have two little bits left. Look, that little rectangle and that one. And that is it. The wood, the wood is finally all done. Look at that. Jeez. Now that took a lot longer than I expected. But um, yeah, that's my cladding anyway. It needs posters, whatever else. But the core kind of body of the shed is done. Jesus Christ. Okay. So I put up this extra support beam here. So that's our last support beam. Um, so we're pretty much good there. So now I just need to install the other light. I've already got the wood all cut for that. So yeah, I'm just gonna whack that on. All right, we have lights. We have everything. <laughs> oh boy. So yeah, it just needs a little of uh, interior decorating, which is definitely not my forte. And uh, yeah, all the wood is uh, officially complete. I really like these lights. Um, let me show you. They have uh, three different settings on the side, so you can have like a warm one, uh, like a cooler one, and a, a sort of like a surgeon's blue one. Um, yeah, but I thought, thought it was pretty cool. Um, I, I'll link them below, you can check them out if you want. But yeah, the wood's all done, and now, um, and now just the setup really doing the carpet i got this carpet for free from facebook marketplace so i'm going to cut that to size and get that installed today then we can get uh, all the flooring done but um yeah it looks a bit different from what it did before didn't it so just cutting the carpet now i've measured it up got my little line there i'm going to slice down it and uh cram it in it's all right isn't it So it might be a little bit overkill, but I think it's going to get rid of the uh, strands on the side. Or set the whole carpet on fire, uh, I'm not sure. Let's find out. I think it actually works pretty well, approved. So here is almost the finished product. Look at this. A little carpet down, little homemade desk. Oh, I missed the spot with the paint. Got our little custom streaming desk, our little curtains, our, our beams here, our lights. It's not bad, is it? It's not bad. It's more like a house. Got our electrics here, our double insulated door. No one's kicking that down. Our TV. Wow. I'm almost impressed with myself. <laughs> And my and my hired help paid in food, paid in lots of food. Wow, what do you think? It's beautiful. Yeah. Like it. So let's get the pads in and uh, yeah, finish this up. Okay, so this is the last video I'm gonna make on this this year anyway. Um, this is what we did in the summer. Uh, this is temporary, so that'll be an, uh, another video, I'm, I'm sure, when I'm going to extend the roof out. But let's have a look at this shed. Let's have a look what we've done. So uh, one of the hardest parts was the garden was just absolutely insane and very unmaintained. So a lot of the work was, um, yeah, fixing that. But uh, yeah, here it is. Check it out. <laughs> so, 
There's a lot of uh, there's a lot more work I need to do, obviously, but um, this is pretty much an insulated shed, aka summer house or um, actual house. It felt like building an actual house anyway. <laughs> so, so here's an arcade set up here. There's the TV. I need to do a little bit of cable management, and uh, there's our internet that kind of goes through. Uh, onto the antennas there. Um, we have internet now. I got the I I bought a pretty good router so um it's pretty strong now. Uh yeah there's the there's the trusty desk. There's the fan and all our bits there. Computer and um yeah there's the streaming setup <laughs> on our little uh, trusty desk that we can raise and lower. And uh, the seat here fits under it so someone can watch and there's lots of room. Uh, as long as they don't stand up into the table, but um, yeah. So there's the streaming set we've got a microphone, laptop. Uh, I use this light for night time because um, these are too bright when you're playing. Uh, so what I tend to do is uh, you can turn these off here or just unplug one and it just sort of hangs a bit. Um, then you can just turn this one at, on at night time and it, it gives a better image on the stream there. But yeah, we got our we got our curtains up, we can have a look outside. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of things I didn't include in the video. Uh, the video is already long enough, but uh, we had like leaks here. I had to seal all those and there's so many things you wouldn't even uh, imagine of thinking of. Uh, there's our finished beams, look. We've got our three beams there. So the roof is pretty solid now, and I'm not cracking my head on that beam, which was, yeah, really hard. But um, the doors are super strong now. Look how thick they are. <laughs> so it's going to be really hard breaking into this. Um, we're going to fit an alarm very soon, in the next week or so. So we have all that sorted uh, the spiders love making homes in here, it's absolutely crazy. But yeah, I was mentioning this is just temporary while I extend the roof out. Um, we're probably either going to extend the roof or make some sort of uh, porch, but this works for now. This is the old insulation that came with the shed. So I'm just using that as a cover. And then this is temporary as well, so we'll probably make a patio. So um, yeah, that's pretty, pretty much it. Um, yeah, what do you think? It was a it was a pretty long project, and again, it's not it's not fully complete yet either. But um, yeah, a lot of the work was all the things you don't expect, you know, <laughs> which is uh, <laughs> our garden was uh, about this high in absolute crap, like trimmings from this tree and fixing the garden. So we had to fix a lot of things before we could actually do the shed but we had like the mega fire of doom uh the other day and just cleared out all this stuff i found things from my childhood under under here my old bicycle that has been buried for about 20 years a lawnmower uh, definitely not ours so i threw those over the neighbor's side but uh yeah absolutely crazy so um yeah the fire was funny because we're kind of setting fire to the trees uh I got away with it, I guess. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, absolutely mad. Anyway, yeah, the shed is pretty much done. There's a few more things I need to do, but the summer's almost over now. Um, it's getting colder, grayer, wetter, so this is pretty much the last good day. Uh, but the inside is done, and there it is. So, if you want to know, like, what equipment I used, what, um paint what wood preserver uh drop a comment in the video below uh, i'm so tired now because we've had so many full days on this it's hard to talk um think or get any words together but um yeah i think i'm gonna chill out and do something else now uh, it's funny now it's all set up i don't even feel like playing anymore but uh it is what it is right but uh yeah let me know what you think and um yeah, maybe you can build your own one day. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty nice being way down the bottom of the garden uh, with the soundproofing. Uh, let me show you the soundproofing. Let's see. Um. The 
you can hear that pretty well, right? So, at night time, when it's one in the morning, two in the morning, the only thing you can hear is the bass. So what I do is put the sound through the TV, uh, removing the bass cube, and you can't hear anything. So, uh, pretty good. You get the soundproofing as well. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to stop rambling. Um, I hope you like the video, and uh, more projects to come. Take care.